Everyone, this is Sherry Lynn. Wait a minute. Hey there. <laughs> Having a technical glitch. Hi, Tim. Hello. I feel like I kind of know you after all these years. Yeah, it's been, I think we've been friends since 2015. Yeah, yeah. On, on Facebook anyway. I know. And now, now you're in my, my personal Facebook too. So that must mean something, right? That's right. <laughs> Being as private as I am, but no, um, I'm just happy to finally be able to talk to you. You've been, you've been a constant sweet source for the last five years or so, six years. I know a few people who would disagree with you on that. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. I heard, <laughs> I heard, there, I heard there was something going on with that you mentioned, but we won't go into that now. Oh, uh, well, there's, there's some uh, folks who don't get along with me, but that's because blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm opinionated. Well, you know what? I can't imagine because, um, you know, it, as far as fans go, you, you've just always been so um, kind and sweet and, you know, and respectful. So, I, I mean, that's, that's like, really important so I, I try you. I try I try to be for everybody so I guess we'll go ahead and get started who's your yeah. favorite character that you play um in in anime it would have to be um Sasami I have a I have you know she's just I have a love for her she was part of my life for so long and still continues to be so so and she had all of these little extensions, you know, Tsunami and Pretty Sammy and with my magic wand, look, my love baton. <laughs> so. Honestly, that was part of the reason why I picked you as in the Tokyo Mew Mew uh, dream team, because I thought, yeah, that's why, because she played Pretty Sammy. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I, I, she was she was fun, too. I mean, it's as close in the voice as they were, they were, you know, so completely different characters. Um, I remember the, the only hard time Tim I had with, with Pretty Sammy is I'm not naturally a singer, you know, unfortunately I would have loved to do musical theater um, unless I'm playing a character, you know, and in one of my animated series, I. I played six ponies and I had to sing for all of them in different voices and that was fine. But if Sherry has to sing, it's like, uh, uh. and um, Pretty Sammy had that one song and it was, it was just so hard. We had the hardest time recording it because the words just didn't match the music at all and the timing and it was like, okay, I can make this happen, you know? So that was, that was pretty fun. Do you have any personal favorite lines of Sasami's? Um, I can't really say say if I remember the distinct line, Tim, uh, Timothy. I, I just know it was a lot of wanting to cook for Tenchi. <laughs> you know, I, I was in the kitchen a lot. I, th I think that was mainly in Tenchi in Tokyo, but I'm not. It's been forever since I've watched the whole all three series. So, <laughs> well, you and me both. So. It's at least been when whenever it last aired on Toonami, and then no, it was 2011 because I bought all the DVDs around then. Yeah, I still have them too. The DVDs in my closet. I've got I've got the old I've got the old box that's the Pioneer ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When they come on eight different discs. That's right. Oh Lord. I think somebody um, gave me a gift for my kids once for with with all of them, but um, I actually haven't opened it. It was like you know keeping it as a little souvenir thing. Oh yeah, Tenchi is one of the best animes I've ever watched. Anyway, it's one of my personal favorites. How now? Why? Because I know, you know, I I was almost joking, going, okay, this might be the shortest interview you've had because. <laughs> I have no memory of half of what I've done. You know, it's like, it's like when you go to um, the cons and stuff, all of a sudden people are coming up in line 23, you didn't you know, how were you? And I'm like going, Oh my God, what character was that? 
So I was like laughing to myself going, okay, it's going to be brain burp time. <laughs> You're going to have to remind me of all of these characters I've played. But um, I do remember like with Sasami, I mean, she was always, she was always in the kitchen and always fighting with Aika and, uh, you know, and, and Tenchi was Tenchi. This guy, he had, he had it all. But why, I was going to ask you, turning it around, why did ten, the Tenchi series make such an impact on you? I guess it was because, you know, when anime was being dubbed at the time, um, a lot of shows were, you know, just dumbed down for everybody. Right. Like when Dragon Ball Z first came out, it was just really dumbed down in its translation. Tenchi felt like it was treating us kids like adults, even though they did censor it. It felt like we were being treated uh, like, you know, teenagers to adults. I watched it when I was 10 years old. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. And it just kind of stuck with me. And Sasami was actually one of the characters that stuck with me the most. And then behind her, Takato did. And he was only in two episodes. Wow. Okay. So, see, see, you just know so much about them all. You keep me informed. I have one of those uh, really uh, big memory deals. Well, I'll, okay, share it with me because, um, you know, no, but um, yeah, so, you know, and, and also I think um, with the Tenchi series, it was really my first foray into anime. Um, I had, well, I had worked on... Um, the little little Nemo in Slumberland. Um, oh, you you were in that? I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, I was Bon Bon, and um, you know, I had no idea it was going to be such a a cult, you know, movie at that time. And then I was kind of reading about it the other day because you kind of instilled me just to go, what what anime have I done <laughs> over the years? And I'm reading about that one. And it had, I mean, it had every Danny Mann and Michael Bell and Jennifer Darling, who was in Tenchi with me. And, um, but um, the only reason I'm mentioning that is because the casting director for that called me in for the Tenchi series after, after that. So that's how I, you know, because before that it was mostly Saturday. Well, if I started out on camera, but then it was Saturday morning cartoons and Disney and stuff. So anime was like, you know, a foreign territory for me, you know, if it hadn't been for her, Zita, Zita, Zita Kempizi. I don't think she's alive anymore. I don't think so. But anyway, she was lovely. Oh, there's something I did always wonder um it's about kione why did they uh not have you play kione and tenchi in tokyo <laughs> you know that's kind of that's kind of uh, it was all in it was all in the contract part of it and at the time it was this weird thing because it's all coming, you know, I, like I said, this is all kind of vague in my back memory closet somewhere that I'm unlocking. But it was, they were paying us by the line or something. It wasn't by the character. It was, it was just weird. And, you know, we were all kind of game for it because it was fun and let's do it. But then I think I had too many lines or something <laughs> they, they just it was like okay you know how do you feel about this I said well as long as you know Sasami's like I gotta keep doing hers so yeah but that was that was like a, a I remember a whole season I was working um with also my partner in crime there for Miyoshi it was um Ellen Gerstel who was also a friend from our uh our Saturday morning animation days, you know, so that was fun. I had a, I had a lot of, lot of friends on the Tenchi show and, and Jennifer, you know, I did a, a zillion Disney shows with her and movies and such. So that was fun. But yeah, I think to answer your question, Tim, I think I, it was all contractual. It was like, 
it was the money people talking or whatever. I, I don't even remember. So it's kind of like Amadeus, too many notes. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any memories of Wolf's Rain? I do, you know, and it's interesting that you brought that one up because that's another one that I kind of held dear. It was like, it, because it was a different kind of character and a different type of show, um, for me to actually, you know, get my, my teeth into, it was, um, I think it was more mature than a lot of the ones I was doing. And, and, and generally speaking, you know, that I'm usually playing little girls, you know, or little boys or stuff. So that was kind of like, well, you know, I'm a little bit more mature in this one. And, um, uh, I just thought she was lovely, you know? Oh yeah. Chesa was a great character. Yeah, yeah. And the show had, it had an, um, a nice feel to it, too. I love the animation in it, you know. Um, it was good, and the people in it were good. I mean, the people I worked with, the director and such, it was just, it was, it was one of those fun sessions, you know, I always looked forward to going into and doing. And then I also remember you from Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> <laughs> Tachikoma. Was, is that how you say Tachikoma? Komos? Um, it's been so long since I've watched it. Oh, you know what? And if you can explain it to me, God love you, because that was one of the ones I went in and it was um, at a studio way up on Laurel Camp. Oh, you're not from LA, but way up. And this little with Mary Claypool and, and Les, I think it was their studio and Kevin Seymour directed us and he too was like such a I just loved him he was such a great guy and it was like okay this is the character you're going to be doing and I can't even do it for you now I mean I haven't but I, mean, I know it was like you know it's like you know all these little noises and they were all very specific so it was it was fun but I could I, not explain it to you. <laughs> well, I remember I was watching it, and the second the character spoke, I said, Hey, that's Sasami. I know her. <laughs> no, you did not. You were <laughs> I, well, when I hear a voice, I can name it right off. You can ask a lot of my family about that. They're like, No, that's not them. I'm like, yeah, it is. I know it. <laughs> you know what? How do you do that? Because I know, again, a little secret for your show um, that. In the very beginning, a lot of times I would just say no credit, you know, because um, it was new. It wasn't through my agent and I wanted to be respectful for that to them and blah, blah, blah. And so I would say no credit. And then I would go to one of the, the conventions and there go, everybody knew everything I did that had no credit. And they would have like, you know, the CDs for me to sign and stuff. And I'm going, wow, you know, you're good. I really don't know how I've done it. I think it is just because I've watched so much TV and I could just recognize the voices and stuff when I heard them. I think one of the most noticeable for me, and this is when I revisited Final Fantasy X about last year, and I think I sent you the picture of the character. I said, is this you? I swear it's you. <laughs> and you're like, Sh Shalinda, right? Yeah, it was yeah. her. Yeah. Yes, that's me. How'd you know? <laughs> I know? I know. That's why I say, you know, I, I thank goodness for the fans and stuff because they remind me what I've done and, and, you know, and I'll sit there and just like, and what did I do in that? And who was I? <laughs> you know? I'm glad you enjoyed it though. If it's, I, you know, it, it's interesting because it's, it's not being disrespectful to the anime itself, but even with, even with all of my other stuff I've done, I, I'm, I'm always been the type of actor that I, and this is not good for all you younger actors, don't follow my footsteps because it, it doesn't necessarily work. But I would always go in for the day, do my job, have a great time, love it, and then forget about it. You know, whereas I should have been like, I know some actors that I've worked with that are, it's like so smart. Like they would go, you know, if it was in Toy Story, they'd go, I did this voice, I did this voice, and they're writing it down in a book and they have it. 
So when people, you know, come to me years later, little mermaid, what did you do? And I'm like, uh, uh, I don't I know I was like a bunch of fish, I, you know, it's like, so it, even with the anime, it's like, I, I never really took notes and stuff. I just would go in, have a great time, love my directors, you know, um, I, I worked with some of the best direct, I mean, Jack Fletcher, I loved, he got me into all the, um, my Zaki ones, um, um, you know, and a bunch of other ones that he did, uh, the bio hunter and some of the, some of those things, but, um, yeah. Well, I'm going to say, don't feel bad because you're not the only one that does it. When I had Jan Rabson on the show, I was talking about other stuff that he did. He goes, I don't remember. Did I do that? <laughs> Jan, a good friend of mine. Jan and I have worked like 30 years together with all the Disney Pixar stuff. I mean, I miss him so much that we're not doing it as much now. And, and he, he would like, you know, fly in from Canada for the day to do it. And we just have a ball. He's one of those actors. It's like such a gift to work with. He just made me laugh the whole time. His sense of humor is just, you know, I would just get belly laughs. I think you could tell we were mainly laughing in our interview when I said it to you. Yeah, yeah that's the one I got to see. I was happy to see see that he did that. Oh, yeah. Well, I was talking to him about Akira a bunch, and he was like, oh, I'm glad that it stuck with you because not a lot of people talk about that one. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. It's it's like it's amazing the stuff that's in your head that you keep in there and uh, can, can – uh, spit back out to us because uh you know like i said some of us haven't been on i don't know like i said as an actor it was that was my job um i was i'm i've been very fortunate i love what i do and it's you know and now that i'm even teaching i, I tell my you know kids i go it's like going to disneyland to work you know except you have to be professional about it but um, I, I did keep it separate from my life and my prop, my private life. And, you know, I had a, a whole different scenario going on there. So did you ever see any Sasami cosplayers at conventions? Absolutely. Absolutely. The first one I ever went to was in Nashville. And like I'm saying, I'm pretty green to this at that time. You know, it was like and um just to see them all come up to you and they're so excited and it, it it's you know it was kind of a thrill but it was like also like whoa <laughs> you know? and then I did I was lucky enough years later to do a, a, co a convention with um most of the ladies Jennifer wasn't there but it was the ladies the ladies of Tenchi Muyo um and that was fun you know just to kind of reminisce and and like, against everybody like wendy and uh, petra i don't know if i pronounced her name right <laughs> yeah yeah she was there um and ellen was there gerstel mm -hmm. and uh a couple a couple other people i can't remember so who did you like voicing better sasami or tsunami sasami sasami you know um it, it was interesting because when you wanted me to do that voice for you in, in a tsunami way, which of course I had to go back and listen to. Um, <laughs> it, it was kind of kind of like the, you know, a Cheza in a way, you know, just kind of ethereal and breathy and, you know, where Sasami, it, it just, it's like second nature to me, you know, just being that little kid and, and having all that energy and giggling and whatever, you know. Do, do you remember working on Fate Stay Night? I do not. <laughs> I do. Oh, don't I know, worry. I, I know I did Sakura. Um, and I know um, I know the director, I think it was Tony Oliver, maybe. I think um, you're right. Um, another fun guy to work with, you know, um, but... But no, I don't remember so much the character. I, I think she was in, um, I think she was a little older, high school or something, right? Something? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I was actually a little disappointed you didn't get to come back to play her. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, 
I, I don't think I, I don't think I was aware of it at the time. Did she go older when Christina V did it, bit her, was playing her? Uh, no, did, no, I don't think so. I think she's the same age. What the uh, fate roots are, they're just different sections of the story, like kind of like parallel worlds or something. It's hard to explain how yeah. they go into it. It's just different roots or what ifs, however you want to choose the story to end. And yeah. Heaven's Feel is Sakura's story. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I you know, I, I know that Christina got it, the role and such, but luckily at the time, I, I wasn't even aware of it to, <laughs> to go like, huh, what happened? You know? <laughs> um, you know, it's also interesting. It's like, it's, it has changed a little bit, I will say, but all those years and for the most part, we were all, as voice actors, you're so supportive of one another. It's kind of different than on camera, you know? I, I never had the ego for on camera, so I was so happy when I found a voiceover and I could still be creative, do my art and have fun and not have to worry about hair and makeup and, you know, being out there. Um, but voice actors are really generally supportive of one another. Like I, I say now it's changed a little bit because the competition is even that much more. But there were times we'd be calling somebody and going, oh, I just read for such and such. You'd be perfect. Make sure you call your agent or something. You know, you just did it. You, and, and we shared all the wealth and it was wonderful. Um, so I think I think like with something like that with with um, Fate Stay Night not you know not having the role I, I wasn't even aware of it. But now I am. Now I am. Gosh darn it! And you know. <laughs> I want it now. Yes. <laughs> well, personally, I like both you and Christina V. You guys were great, but I was just so used to hearing your version that it was like, huh. That does not sound like Sherry Lynn. <laughs> I, bet, I bet that happens a lot in, with a lot of the shows you watch, just like with Keone, you know. Who, who got Keone after me? I don't even know. I believe it was Wendy Lee. Oh, Wendy, okay. Um, yeah, so I'm sure it's like an adjustment for a moment just to, you know, he, hear the transition to some other voice, but I, I, I'm imagining we're all so similar in what we're doing in that character anyway so do you have any memories of shiva from final fantasy 10 no i well <laughs> no i don't um was it she shiva was the same as Shalin, shalinda is she the same character no shiva is uh, she's on your shirt actually the ice uh maiden right there. the ice lady <laughs> um the ice lady, no. But again, I, I, I remember, you know, it's just like remembering the session. It was, I just had a ball because that was, that was, I'm almost positive that was Jack Fletcher directing it too. Who, who was just a hoot, you know, we just had a good time. Oh yeah, I, I, I actually enjoyed the cast in Final Fantasy X. I thought it was one of the best voice hectic games. You know, that's what I'm hearing that it, it I, I'm not really a game person, but um, I, I have heard that that's like, you know, one of the iconic ones, uh, you know, that, that people really do enjoy. Well, I was actually so happy to hear your voice and I was happy to hear Robbie's voice too. That one surprised me actually. In that, in that, in that uh, game? Yeah. Robbie, yeah. Rist, Robbie Rist was in it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, yeah, of, of the games, I guess. And again, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't remember the characters as much. But I know um, uh, the other one was like Cowboy Bebop was like, you know, like that was pretty iconic and has maintained through that that whole period too. Oh, that that's actually one of my um, favorite series also. <laughs> is it? Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't, I think I only did one, uh, I think I was only in one episode of, of Young, Young Faye or something, Young Faye. Yeah, that was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that but, was episode 
25 or 24 24 oh, get out of here get out of here how how is that i can i just borrow your your memory and brain for a moment here well uh i'm gonna just blow your mind here I'm, that's one of the animes i viewed the most mm. <laughs> in fact um I actually just had a conversation with somebody from that series not long ago, uh, Skip Still Red. And he was like, I can't believe you remember me from that series. I said, well, you voiced the main villain, Vicious. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, good. Good, good. good. You know, I, I'll just go on about it for hours. You can ask my family about it. They're like, oh, they're like, just shut up about it already. <laughs> you tell me, you have, do you have a little one? Yes, I do. How how old is is a little girl or boy? Boy, okay. he is six years old. So is he is he getting into your um, obsession and love and passion for all of the anime, or is he got his own thing going at this point? Unfortunately, no, he doesn't really care for it that much. I mean, he'll watch the openings when they come on or something like that, but he is more interested in learning stuff. He loves alphabets, reading. He loves books, stuff like that. <laughs> and you're going, you're saying, sorry, dad, dad, you know, is relating to Cowboy Bebop here. I, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. They, oh. you know, go in opposite directions. Which I don't mind it because, you know, he's, he's a special little guy, so. Yeah, good. Oh, some days I wouldn't mind strangling him, but you didn't hear that one from me. <laughs> put him in, you know, you know what you do? You just put him in front of the computer with a game and say, okay, <laughs> you got to watch this all the way through and then give me notes. It, it's kind of like a, a reverse of if you catch them smoking, they used to make you smoke the whole pack. If you catch them watching something, it's like, you got to watch the whole thing. Right. Oh. <laughs> uh. Anyway, um, do you have any memories of like the Rugrats? Rugrats? Rugrats, you know what? I was only, um, I was up for one of the parts, but I didn't get it in the final end. But um, I just did one, one, I think I just did one episode of that, you know. I it's, think you did Chucky's Bully out of the, what? out of that episode. Really? Okay. I promise I didn't look anything up. I promise. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, um, I mean, that's a, that's an anime. I always just, you know, it's not anime. Do you ever watch any animation too? Or is it just basically oh, anime? I watch about everything. I watch movies, anime, I read <laughs> anything I could find. My other, my other, um, it wasn't animated, but my other favorite um, show to do was My Little Pony, the original one. That was way back, that was in the 90s. And um, again, it was just, you know, I always say this to people, it was just so much fun to work on. And I had so many, fr I mean, Nancy Cartwright was there and Debbie Derryberry. And, I mean, we, you can just go on and on. And Ellen Gerstel and Jennifer, and there was, you know, I'm playing all of those, and and um, I remember the audition was like the most insane audition ever I ever I've ever had in my life. It was like come up with 25 characters, and I'm like, what? You know, I mean, okay, I'm an actress, but I do know my range, and um, it was, but it it turned out wonderful, and I I got six of the ponies, and I those are other kind of. Like Sasami, there's a couple of those ponies that are always like dear to me, you know, and that I just kind of remember. And well, I was, I was never a watcher of that series, so it's probably more for the girls, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do um, know some. I do know some bronies online, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, now it's got that resurgence with the new show, so you know. But that that was a fun one, and. And, you know, and other things that I've just, I mean, working with Pixar, like Jan said, oh my God, what a gift, what a gift. I, you know, it was just, and starting from the beginning with them, like with Toy Story 1, 2, 3, I mean, all the way up, I think the last one I did was Inside Out. Um, but the thing that made 
that company's so special. Do you want to talk about this or just anime? Sure. I, I like to listen. <laughs> the, it was like, wait a minute, Sherry. Um, the thing that made that company so special, and I, it's really, I think, the only time I've ever seen it, is they treated everybody the same. Everybody with respect. Everybody. I mean, you could have been the kid bringing in donuts, or you could have been the director, John Lasseter, or something, and everybody just had this they were just so inclusive and, and wonderful to one another and as an actor it was like one of the first times that they just let you go you know it's like just come up with these characters just let's see what, what let's see what you know is going to stick and which one we're going to animate or what we're going to do and it it was um challenging and creative and yet so so wonderful you know it was a it was a great time with um all of them and pete doctor and andrew stanton and it was it was good oh yeah i mean i've got a bunch of pixar movies that i love still love to this day yeah i was four when my parents took me to see toy story in the theaters <laughs> wow 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 i know and i I think I, I think I took my three my older daughter who was three at the time to see I think she was three to see uh, Beauty and the Beast at the at the Cinerama Dome in Hollywood and it was like oh you know it's just so exciting. I could talk about Disney movies probably just as much as I could anime. Uh, I remember my favorite Disney movie is the Hunchback of Notre Dame. So. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Loved it. I was lucky to, to be on that one, too. My kids loved that one, too. Oh, you, you were in that one? Yeah. Oh, and you man. asked me, what, what did I do? I don't know. I can't, I can't tell you what I did. <laughs> I know I was a bunch of characters, but who knows which one. Oh, it's a classic, especially when the actors they got in there, like Tom Hulse and Tony J. I mean, mm -hmm. I just, uh, I have probably burnt my family out on that movie, and that's actually my son's favorite movie, too. <laughs> well, good. See, you're sharing something. have something in common that you guys can watch together. But that not that kind of... Um, most people who I've met who are so into anime aren't that diversified with what they, you know, of, as far as the animation. So that's pretty cool that you like all that other stuff, too. Oh, I'm just a giant kid. Yeah. <laughs> We all are. We all are. And I guess that's why I love the animation so much. It's like, again, like, you know, even when I'm teaching, it's like, okay, let's do commercials. And then it's like, and then we're going to do animation, you know. And they see me just kind of light up. Oh, I'm the same way. I mean, I own, like, King of the Hill, The Simpsons. I, I like everything, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm and I think, uh, I think if I'm right, I may have you mixed up with someone. I think you were in South Park, weren't you? No, no. Um, Mo I know Mona Marshall. That's who. Mona, yeah. Who I worked, you know, again, I worked on so many Disney and Pixar films with her. Um, yeah, I think she was doing Little little Boys or something in that. Or something. My husband loved that one, that, that show. I, I actually get you, her, and Barbara mixed up quite a bit. But but you seem to know what we've done, so I'm going to give that to you. Th there we go. Anyway, I want to say thank you so much for coming on to the show. This was great. So nice to finally meet you. I mean, I feel like, I feel like I've known you for all these years. And like I said, for anybody out there who wants to, he's the sweetest. He's the sweetest fan. So anyway. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> All righty. Good to see you, Tim. Stay in touch. I promise you, I go 